Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It's a beautiful day in the park, and it's awesome, as you can see. It's freezing cold, zero degrees Celsius. But what can I say? But one thing I want to say is this. There's a quote which I created a few years ago, and it says, don't go with the flow, or you'll be in someone else's stream. But instead, create your own rivers. Create your own rivers. That is a, a very powerful concept about creating your own rivers, creating your own mentality, creating your own concept, creating your own thing. Because society sometimes, or systems, will dictate you to follow a particular path. And to see things in a particular way. But your mindset has got to be enlarged so you can see things other ways. Because there are so many voices, voices left, right and center. So many voices that is dictating to us what we and how we should think. So many voices is getting into our mindset and our thinking that we have to see and understand a particular way based on the voices. Social media has created so many voices, so many things, so many aspects of things that people can now actually um, they don't know what to do. Satan is that, blah, blah, blah. Everything, everything. But there was something which I saw the other day. And if she watches this and one day she sees it, she will hear it. I saw a, a little black girl being beaten up by uh, some children, some white kids. And the mother was edging them on. And everybody's in an uproar. And she was beaten up. She was punched and abused and all those sort of things. But I saw something else. I saw something else. I saw something else. Not a victim. I did not see a victim. I saw a victim setting. I saw whereby it is natural for when four or five people at you that you are taking it and you are getting beaten up. But I saw something else. I saw a victim. I saw a little girl fighting. I saw a little girl taking on all the challenges of this world and fighting it. It was a figurative thing. I saw something figuratively. Moving away from her as in, in your circumstance, in your situation, and wherever you are, your job, your home, whatever. It's like everything is against you. And it's just you only. Well, you have a choice. You've got a choice of rolling over and die. Covering all the key areas, your head and everything like that. They're hitting me and you die or you fight. Even when you're on your back, you're fighting. <laughs> and what I saw with that young girl was she fought to the end and she would have fought to the end she said if you're going to take me I'm going down and you're going down and everybody's going down everybody so she's got a mentality yes she's abused yes she's hurt yes she's going through a moment now must be but she's a victim not a victim I did not see a victim. I see a victor. And ladies and gentlemen, I say this to you. Stand strong. Stand tall. Because this is a word for somebody. That when all and everything is against you. And it seems like there's no way out. Always remember one time there's a man that said to God, everybody's against me. No one is with me. And God said, look around. There's so much more with you than against you. Stand tall and never ever be a victim. Never ever be a victim. Thank you.